we're close enough to six. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Public Safety Community Committee meeting, June 20th, 2017. Uh, there's two items on the agenda to discuss tonight. I'm going to switch the order of those, but I think the first thing we need to do is there's some concern about taping this, this meeting. I don't know that we should be taping it uh, with the discussions going on tonight. I don't want to incite any public uh, concerns. So uh, I'm just I here because my children are playing ukulele group. That's why I can um, Well, I'm going to ask the committee members if individually if they want to take it or not. Anybody opposed? I, I say no. We shouldn't throw this up to the public yet. I mean, this is just a preliminary discussion. Do you want to upset not, everybody? Then why are we opposed? Then why are we opposed? Because we can't discuss this in the whole Right. Yeah. If they want to know, they should. Kelly, what do you think? I don't care. You don't care? Do you act stupid or not? No. No. Two no's. Yeah. Al? And I say no. So if I'm going to ask you to remove it, if you would, Yeah, no problem. Take Again, minutes. just to clarify, my kids are in ukulele group, and because I have this in my bag, or in my van, this is why I brought it. So Not a problem. All right. I'm just going to ask you to remove it. Thank you. First item on the agenda was the uh, SRO contract, but I'm going to move to item number two, because I think it's important we discuss that <coughs> first before we move to the SRO in, uh, agreement or contract, potential contract. So the second item was, what's the future of the Hortonville PD? I know there's been a lot of interest on outsourcing, I think with the county primarily, and I don't know that there are any other municipalities that might step up. Uh, I don't know if that's a fact or if anybody's explored that, but uh, I guess my concern is, you know, what are we going to get from the county that we don't already have? Are we paying more? I know there have been uh, some numbers put together, I think, by Diane yeah, and, and Jeannie, right? Yeah. And I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, in s earlier discussions with uh, Lynn and Al, uh, when we had a meeting for... We had talked about doing <coughs> the possibility of a referendum. But I think, Jean, uh, Lynn, you said the referendum would take time and cost money. It definitely will. That was why I suggested the possibility of a survey. Yeah, so that piqued my interest. I thought if we did a village-wide survey and mailed it out uh, with just two simple questions on there, number one, should we seek services elsewhere? or should we continue to uh, uh, have a Hortonville Police Department? So that might be something we could discuss tonight. I, this is not going to be an overnight issue. This thing is going to probably go on for some period of time. Might be months. Uh, we'll have a lot of research to do. I think we need to talk to all the officers involved, have them come in. I think we also have to have the County Sheriff's Department come in to talk to us. Uh, so this is not going to happen overnight. So I think the first order of business, in my estimation, would be to take the temperature of the village residents. And I think the way to do that uh, would be a simple, simple process of doing a survey. Other than the fact that Michael Sullivan is no longer our chief, what's changed? I don't know. I think the sentiment out there, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the sentiment out there is because of everything that's happened uh, and the possibility of maybe cutting costs, although I don't know that's the issue here or whether that would be a resolution, is to either uh, disband the department uh, and go with outside services. I think that's... And, and, I, and I guess my question would be why. I don't know. I, I guess... You know, there's enough interest out there, I think, in the public side that <clears throat> maybe we should do some research before we make any decisions, uh, whether we look elsewhere or whether we continue to employ the department. Because I think we need to do some research. Because if we've done, I mean, if, if what we've done, at least preliminarily, is that we've looked at 
an outside source, and the outside source, at least from a full-time position or for a, from a full-time, what's the word I'm looking for, service, uh, full-time uh, staffing. 24-7 coverage. 24-7 coverage. It's, 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 we're, gonna, we're, we're saving money by doing it in-house. At least as compared to Alta Gaming, County Sheriff's Department. Uh, is that a. Yes, $16,000 difference we're looking at um, with village service versus Alta Gaming County. Yes, the village service comes in at $68,000 less okay. annual. So then the question would be do we want anything other than 24 7 service? I, I guess I'm, 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 I'm just I'm struggling with. And those are all things that we need to probably look at in the future. Like we said, this isn't going to happen overnight. Yeah, but the problem that I have with it is we're talking about the livelihoods of, what, half a dozen officers, and they're, they're looking at us going, do I have a job? Are we no, going, I know. Are we going to stay this? You know, and to me, that's kind of, and, I, and I'm just, and I and I don't know. I mean, I haven't had a lot of people tell me, but I don't. A lot of people don't know me in the in the in the, in the village, and haven't, haven't said to me, "We don't need a police officer. We don't need a police force." So I guess I'm just. Where is that coming from? I mean, is it are you guys hearing that we we no longer need a police force? I mean, I don't understand where this is coming from. I've had a couple of people come into the coffee shop. You know, the coffee shop seems to be a gathering point. People come in, they voice their concerns. Some I listen to, some I don't. Uh, but there have been a number of people that have made remarks about whether or not we need a police department. I don't know, Jack, have you had any? Yeah, I've heard several comments on that. Yeah. Al? The ones that I've heard about said may need to look at reorganization, but they wanted to keep our own force. Yeah, we'll see, now that's another issue. Uh, you know, this might end up to be not seeking outside services, but it might mean looking at re uh, reorg. And, and I think that's part of this whole committee. I don't, I, and I think it, we, would, it would, we wouldn't be prudent as officers, not officers, what the hell are we, trustees, of the village, if we didn't always look at using the village's money in the best way possible to give us the maximum amount of services, right? Um, <clears throat> so I would, I, I guess, my question would be: um, I don't have a problem with with doing that with a reorganization. If we're going to concentrate on doing some sort of reorganization or looking at the staffing and looking at how it's staffed or or how we do that, um, but I think it would be incumbent upon us to make a decision as to whether we're going to outsource or keep it in-house. Eventually. Uh, as, as soon as possible. Right. Because I don't think it's at all fair to anybody that, um, I'm not just talking about the police officers, I'm just talking about, I mean, if it was little, but if we were talking about, do we need... Do we really need an administrator? Let's talk about that for the next three months. Well, Diane's going to be sitting there going, "Okay, what are my options here? I got to start looking at, you know." And I and I think, and I and I I'm, I'm, I believe and I don't want to sit and hog the whole meeting here, but I believe we are very happy with the individuals that we have on our force. I think I don't think that that's a problem, and the reason that I say if this if we want to drag this out for months. I don't think we're going to have guys that want to stick around. So I think if we're going to do something, I think we need to do it. We need to make a decision if we're going to outsource or are we going to keep our village police officers rather quickly. And then if we say, I'm going to make the foregone conclusion because and I don't want to and just because of the money that's involved, I'm going to say that we're going to say, yeah, we're, if we want a police force, we're going to keep our guys. Then look at, okay, how do we reorganize in order to make the best use of their uh, manpower? And you know, maybe that means downsizing it a little bit or doing something different. Or, or you know, that, that may mean, it may mean we do nothing at all and it's going to stay the same. But 
I, 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 and again, my own personal opinion, I think that we would be doing them a disservice to say we're going we're gonna to do, this is going to take months to figure out. Um, I just, I think we need to, we need to, we need to get to a point where if we're going to, if we're going to have a police force, are we going to outsource or are we going to keep it in house? We need to make that decision. And if we're going to keep it in house, then we, then we can look at how do we best utilize the manpower. My opinion. Well, my question on it is, if we are going to go outsourcing, where do we come up with sixty-eight thousand if we go with the county? Well, I think we'd have to find it somewhere in the budget. I don't know. I, I, I'm just. I don't know why we would make that decision. Yeah. Why, why would Why would we do that? Why would we? Why would we? And I'll just take Diane again. Why would I? I can. We can find another administrator. We can pay another hundred thousand dollars for the administrator. Why, why would we do that if we're happy with Diane? I mean, I, that doesn't. To me, that there's a logic in that. In that. In that. In that. In that. In that. Um, in that path. Well, I, that's right. to me. And again, I'm only one person. I agree with. You. Have you had time to go through all the numbers? Yes. You have. Okay. I have other numbers. Do I have? I know. See, that's that's a that's the whole thing too. That no, I I have other numbers from the county that um, show incident reports and um, incidents between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. for the year of 2016 was 187. If you would like to see it, this comes from the county. 27% of our calls come in between 10 a, what was it, 10 a.m. and 6, I mean, excuse me, 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. We have the same percentage-wise of our calls during that night shift as we do during the day shift. And Brian pulled those, per day. Brian pulled those numbers specific from the village's calls reports. Right. This comes from the county, and they have to document every call. Well, we're talking, so they document we're talking our calls? 10 to 6 yes, to every single call. To 6 oh, I didn't hear yeah, the 3 a.m. Oh, sure. 2 a.m. No, to 7 a.m. I guess I'd have a question for Sean. Does the county document every call we have? Yes. Every, every stream that's generated, every candidate that's that's generated is a number. Yes. I guess I, I have a question on it is that county. We're, it, it seems like we're kind of talking more about the 24-7 thing versus full... Coverage. Which we could save money if we didn't have full time. Well, right, but my, I guess my point is, is that exactly. if, if our current force and our current budget is 68000 for 24-7, 68000 less for 24-7 versus theirs, then if we end up having that discussion and want to scale back to less than 24-7, logic says that then we can provide that at a lower at, at a lower cost than what the county can. Correct. I would agree with I that. I guess my point on our... Um, this opinion on it. I know I'm not a voting member, as I just think that this is comparable to talking about decommissioning our wastewater treatment plant and shipping it out, contracting out services for an extra sixty-eight thousand dollars and letting it sit idle. As that's the other concern, is we've got a multi-million-dollar facility that we had a referendum on not too long ago, and contracting out services. That's I, I think that. Well, it wouldn't be completely idle. No, no, no. I know. Because I realize that. They did say they would need an office, and. Uh, interview room and my guess is that they would also use the garage seeing they would be dedicated officers to Horton though. Oh. At a cost of 68000 more than what we're paying. Right. Right. Yeah, no, we, we need some time to go through those numbers and, and do apples for apples comparison and again downsizing, or not downsizing, but reorging might mean we don't have any staff on for that early morning time frame. And maybe we don't need 24 and maybe we don't. Right. But you know that's that's for a future meeting. The, the issue right. we have to discuss tonight is tonight. what I think needs to happen is I don't want myself included as a committee member making a decision tonight and then answering to the village residents why we didn't poll them or why we didn't mm -hmm. ask them. I think the best way to approach this is to do some kind of an informal survey mm -hmm. or formal survey mail to them with two simple questions and let them help guide us. You know, What's the it, referendum actually going to say? What's the question going to say? I guess it would be simple enough, uh, the simplicity of it would be, do we 
keep the Hortonville PD as is and do some reorganization, or B, do we contract outside services? But is the question going to be stated as such that do we contract for outside services and spend more money? Because we don't know that. We, we don't know, know that. that. We, we do know that with the county. Okay, we know that as it exists now, but if we put some numbers to it and downsize or and, and cut out some of the early morning coverages, we don't know what those numbers are offhand. We know from Outagamie County. Well, but that we do. That we know. I mean, we know. If we're going to put, put a survey. That was a quote. It is not written in steel. Well, no, but it's, I mean, sixty-eight thousand dollars difference. I don't yes, think we're going to be. Well, of course, a quote is a quote, and they'll work with us. Are they going to take sixty-eight thousand dollars off their number? You never know. I we doubt haven't it. asked them yet. I well, doubt why, it. Why would we? Because they're not taking it off of anybody else. That's. Um, you look at like you brought up combined locks. Now they were in the metro, getting paying over six hundred thousand. To the metro, they come along five hundred thousand. That that's a deal with them. It's not with us. No. I mean, it's you know, metro wasn't willing to deal with them e either to keep them. I mean, they let them go, but the county said, "This is our numbers. This is what we have to do." That's what that. I mean, they didn't come out and say we negotiate when I talked to them. They said these are the numbers. This is what we have to have. And one of the people that did talk to me said, why should the village be subsidizing the county for the police service to the tune of over $60,000? That was one of the residents that, that talked to me about it. You know, one of the pluses that uh, having the county would be if we went through another event like we just went through with the chief, we wouldn't have to deal with it. It would be on them. We wouldn't have that cost. That's another thing. We would not be liable. We would be done. And if you have a bad officer, you tell them they remove the bad officer. We still all that does we is don't. eliminate the liability <clears throat> for the police department. Then I mean, we, we certainly have, have that liability with all the rest of the employees. If you're going to go down that path, then why would we have any staff at all? Why would we want to have any staff at all, because any any staff member can do something to put us in a liable situation. So let's get rid of all the staff. Is that what we? Is well, that, we that's... have had problems in the past with other staff. Absolutely. Yes. So yeah. I mean. So, I mean, you know. So if if, if what is Greenville's coverage? Greenville County. has uh, officer forty hours a week, and they're happy as calls can they be. Have? And then after that, they said the section officers handle it. What did you say? Greenville has per year in 2016 they had 6,486 calls. We have had 2,526. Yeah, but he's asking uh, how many calls? No, he's asking personnel. Did you not, Jack? Well, yeah, and how many, what off. they had for an officer, and they have an uh, out of game officer for 40 hours per week. Sean, you're and then the section office. officers That's take true. care of it. We have an officer that works a 5 3 rotation. In the five days that she works, she's assigned the first four hours of her shift in Greenwell. And then in the second half of her shift, they just consider they send her to a, a random section, and then the section three car, which was responsible for Greenville, Hortonville. Ellington, Liberty, Dale, Medina, and Hortonia covers all of that area for the remainder of the four hours. Mm -hmm. So there's three days a week, well, three days and eight day span where there's nobody directly assigned to Greenville, and then there's five days there where there's somebody assigned for four hours from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Which would be 20 hours a week. Yeah, well, roughly. So what does the town of Greenville pay for services? Any idea? I don't know. I know the county's billing rate for hourly rate is like $29 an hour. The last budget Including green bill. Benefits? Yeah, that include, well, the, the way they presented it to us is it was um, with benefits, and then uh, they also had an administrative. Yeah, okay, they had uh, officer salaries, fringe benefits, um, estimated overtime, but that, that was the estimated one. Um, and then they had an additional administrative fee, um, and then the vehicle's fuel maintenance. So they had it broken down. 
But you don't know if the officer's salary included benefits, or is that a separate line item? On here, on ours, it's separate. Well, the one they gave us was separate too, wasn't it? That's what I'm saying. I'm going from the one that they gave us. Yes. And, and that, yes, yeah. Well, we're, well, the only issue with a survey is what do we typically, Lynn, when we've taken surveys before, what is our typical response percentage? Do you remember? Remember we did this a while ago. We've had a number of different surveys. I know when we did them with the... And I guess I'd have to say that we're somewhere between um, 15 and 30-some percent, depending on the question. I think... And, and this is just logistics, but I guess the other thing that kind of runs through my head is we've got property owners, we've got business owners, and residents. Those are all three different uh, ones. I I, uh, I don't know. Do we even have an accurate list of residents versus property owners? But all of these people are affected by coverage. And I know. That's what taxes. I'm getting at, is that I think all of them. It's just that I know well, we can easily our, get property Our village owners. voice touches on all of the uh, people right. that we know okay. that are absentee property owners. It touches on the businesses. It touches on all the residents that we have names for. Plus, we send to apartment buildings and apartment numbers where we don't have an exact name for a person who's there, so we try to cover all the bases on yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. So that would be our best bet on reaching as many people as possible. Yeah, take the village voice. So when you send one. this out, uh, it's bulk mail. Mm -hmm. So they have to cut it stamp it and send it back. Um, bulk mail can have different things included in it as long as it can be fastened together so it's not going to fall out. But um, yeah, they more than likely wouldn't be able to put an envelope in there. It wouldn't stay well. So Plus, if you're putting an envelope in all of them, you're doubling your costs. I don't know if we'd get it back on that or not. Well, I, you know, I've done surveys before, and if it wasn't stamped, yeah, I know. it's tossed. I know, so that's a question. I'm saying if we did that, it, even though it may cost more, I think we'd get a better return. Could we do a simple postcard that could be stapled inside the bulk mail flyer? We would have to check and see. Um, right now we don't have staples in the village mm -hmm. voice. We'd have to check with the post office to see if staples are allowed. Well, if what do you do with the village voice? Just fold it over? Right. It's just yeah. simply either the larger yeah. sheets that they get folded or the 8.5 by 11 they get folded. Yeah. And then they get tabbed on the side. Have you put an end of paper yet for, uh, for chief yet? No, I haven't. I I've, um, have it ready. Uh, Martin Baker from the police commission has asked me about it, but no, I, I have not. See, that's Can I get issue. fuzzy with that? Is that up to them or is that up to us? Oh, putting the ad out would be for us. Okay. But they, they would the hiring. The hiring <coughs> and that was another issue that was brought up to me. Do we really need a chief? Can't we just have a senior sergeant uh, officer in charge? I'd have to check on the statutory requirements of different, uh, you know, because somebody I, had mentioned to me today, too, and I can't, frankly, I can't remember who it was. Don't you have to be a lieutenant? I, I, I don't know. I know I, I got to look at that, and then the other part that I'd have to look into, but then this gets more into the coverage that we were talking about, is that um, it was Carl that had told me, I know for utilities and some of the services that, that they have to provide changes and increase with different population levels, and with the um, four major developments that the village has coming in, not, you know, not pie in the sky, but actual, you know, west, west wind, um, Nature's Haven, Commonwealth, and the assisted living facility, that's going to put us over 3,000. And Carl said 3,000 is a magic number for added services that he has to provide. So I got up. So we'll have to check that out. Yes. Okay. That's statutes. And his isn't the only area because Carolyn got hit up about that for the library. That yeah. 3,000 number was a. Yeah, there's magic. Thresholds for different Number things, there. and right now we're at twenty-seven eleven. Yeah. Yes, and the development that that we um, are anticipating, I calculated out that it could bring in uh, it, it conservatively, I think, four hundred. But uh, does that happen? Would that would that uh, not kick in until two thousand twenty? I don't know that. I, I have to look into that. I, because I the just was. Exists that 
there yeah. are over 3,000 residents right now. I mean, I have no idea. Yeah, the subject yeah, just came up today. Because right. so. that was 2010's census, correct? Yes, but now they don't do the decennial census. They do the American Community Survey instead. Yeah, but what I'm saying is so that, that, that number is seven years old. Yes. So we have another three years to go before. So, yeah. So the, the magic number, and, and, my, and the reason I'm asking the question is that that hitting that threshold will affect us in 2000. To, to, well, but, but that's what I'm saying is yeah. that we, we don't do the, um, the decennials. The, it's not based so much on, i got to check to see. The Census Bureau changed the way they did it okay. um, in 2010, okay. and then they stopped, my understanding, I believe they stopped doing the decennial census and replaced it with what's called the American Community Survey, and it's, rotating like so it's five years oh. so that might be coming up is what my point is 2020 may not be that date anymore I have to look at right. what they base it on okay. so let's get back to this uh, survey issue uh, is it something you think we should approach we should do at least get some direction from the village residents that's why we're here yeah so I guess residents. Not for ourselves. I know there's a lot of concern. People have come in, you know, we kind of become that shoulder to cry on, if you will. Uh, they come in and they voice their concerns about what's has what's happened in the past. With the past administrator, with the past chief. Yeah. <clears throat> where are we yeah. Where where are we heading now? Why do we need a chief? Why do we need a police department? Can't we use county services? So, I mean, all these questions are, are out there, and they're always asking, so. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think we can answer the county services question. Possibly. Not yet. What would, what would, what would stop us from not telling them what we already know? Well, I think, I think we need to maybe digest the numbers a little better. Uh, I mean, there's some confliction here between what you have and what you have. No, we, the no. three of us met, Al, Jeannie, and myself, and, and mine came up and we and, and Jeannie had, um, did not have the uh, revenue from the SRO contract. Mine did have uh, some related expenses related to the vehicles, and so we adjusted those, and the last set that I had sent out was in agreement. They're right from the budget. So I mean, I, I, I don't know why that's, a, that's an item that's a question. The county is $68,000 more. Do you agree with that? Um, we went through some things, and yeah, I'm thinking there could be some adjusting, like they're saying you take out, you, there's still going to be all the heat included in there, and there's still going to be all the um, maintenance to clean in there, and I'm sure there's going to be less if you, you but are think we about it. Thousands of dollars, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we're I mean, well, so I mean are we talking like ten thousand. I mean, you know, no, we were we we agreed on all this in the office and said, <coughs> okay, I took it off and so she we're, added we're, some on, and then we got a couple, to a, a, a thousand, bottom yeah, dollar. It wouldn't be sixty-eight thousand dollars difference. You're talking about a couple thousand dollars. So again, my point is. The question, there shouldn't be a question of cost. We know what the county's cost, we know what us costs. It's much less to do us. So that's, again, I, I, I just, I, I, unless someone can tell me that that's, that, that what I've been told is wrong, to me that's, county's, cost, county's gonna cost more. So, and that gets me back to where I was before, you know, I absolutely have no problem, and I think, again, as I said, it would be, it is always prudent of us as trustees to look at saving money and looking at how things are done and looking how we can do things better. So looking at how, this, how the staffing is done right now and looking at the numbers that we have and looking at all that stuff, I think we should, I think we absolutely should do that in light of everything that's happened and the changes that have happened and we should find out if they, in fact the chief is needed or if you can do a lieutenant or you can do something else or if you can, you can have it reorganized some way where we can save money for the, for the community. Um, I, I just, <clears throat> I just don't know that we need to keep going down the, is the county going to save us money because it's not. 
So I think we need to look at, okay, how do we save money or how do we reorganize or what do we do with our police department to, in order to better serve this community at the maximum cost savings that we can find and still keep this community safe. Okay, aside from that issue, do you feel it's necessary to uh, poll the residents? <clears throat> Just so we can take, what I will say here is take some of the heat off our backs. And, and there, I don't I don't disagree with that, Peter. And I do use a double negative, I'm sorry. Um, but I don't know how to get a good handle on I just know that, that's what I was asking Lynn, I just know that when we've done these, isn't there something called a monkey? Yeah. Survey, survey monkey. monkey. Yeah, that's, survey all monkey. On, that's all online. That's all online. And that, you don't that's, get a lot of response. You're not going to get the older generation. And you're not going to get, exactly. And, yeah. and you're going to get, you know, maybe, even if we get 25% of the people in the village to respond, you know, is that going to be... But a, it's a number. It it's is. It's a number. It is. Where I was going to go, Peter, was do we, you know, we also did... Um, and I don't think you're going to get people for that, though, either. I, you know, we also did what, what would we call, um, help me out, open forum, open houses, open where you invite everybody public to come information in. Public meeting. informational meetings. I, so, I, think, I, I think that, personally, that would be a good idea because, um, you know, I know even then just some people come to the meetings, not all. But, not everybody. Uh, the I older just, ones won't. When they may answer a, a survey at home and send it in. But there's a little I bit think more. if we did if we did the survey informally, just two questions, simple questions, and again, it's only a number, non-binding. It doesn't mean that if they say do away with the police department, that's the way we move. No, absolutely. I, I, I think the way to do it is you send the form of the, the survey out, and you have something that is pre-addressed and stamped, return. That way, we'll get more answers mm -hmm. back. And I think, and I, and I think, and, that, and I agree with you on that because the senior committee did that. And they sent the, what, what Carol sent out. It was somewhere in the neighborhood about 40 that she sent out to senior citizens in the village, and got like 35 of them back. Yeah, that's a good percentage of returns. Really they, percentage. they had self-addressed stamp. Yeah, but those people are more motivated because they're in the community. No, not. Do we know if we're going to get that uh, the liaison officer job back? Well, that was the second point of discussion tonight. I wanted to move forward first <coughs> with this, and then the idea to uh, discuss the ICRO contract after that, because I think that's, a, that's binding here. I think a survey would be a good idea, but I also think having the um, open the forum. public informational meeting? A public informational meeting would be a good thing, too. We could do both. I mean, that way, you're, that way all of the bases are covered, and that way yes. everybody can say, yeah, this is what we think we need. Well, the reason I asked about the schools is because that's we're called oh, the revenue. Absolutely, right. That, and I think that's why Peter's putting that as the second point because right. if that's I want to not make sure happen, that we're moving in the right that direction makes, first. That makes a that makes a right. difference in the numbers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so with that in mind, if we did the survey uh, with the flyer and a postage paid, self-addressed postcard or whatever back, so they don't have to put the stamp on it, they're more likely to to answer it and send it in. And again, it's non-binding. We just take a temperature and see there's maybe 300 that respond and 200 say, keep the police department. 100 say, no, let's contract outside services. At least we have some direction. But if we're, it's but, not like I have to sit there and answer everybody and say, well, that's the way everybody voted. But if we're going to say, if you, and again, I, I disagree with the contracting the outside services question because that question, if, if you're going to ask that question in a survey, then you have to put in that question should we spend $68,000 more in tax money to contract with an outside service? I would agree with that. You know, because that, but, but... If those numbers are true and accurate, I would agree with it. Then, but then... But we don't know that. But then I, I, got, a concern, that? I got a concern on that, though, too, we, is we've because... We've got the numbers we, from the county, we've yeah, got the I'm, numbers... In the, well, the and, and when I talked to the county, they said they would definitely work with us. What does that mean? So, Who in other the words, these were just right. given I, as a, the quick, did you talk to? a quick, quick reference. I Who with the county did you Corey talk Bisa, to? Corey Bisa. Okay. Captain Corey Bisa. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's go back to your remark. Maybe it's just a simple one question. Should we keep the Hortonville Police Department and not even bring contracting outside services? Did in? you want to ask about the amount of hours of coverage that they... That's right. probably what should be on there. Do we need 24-hour service 
or do we do less? We'll do that. That's what should be on there. Then we can really save money if that's what you want to do. And don't but even that's kind of, and I agree with you, Jeannie. I think asking a question like that is prudent. But how do you ask a question like that without giving them without any giving information? Them any information? Should we have 24-hour service, or we can we give not them, have 24-hour Maybe we can give them the information in the public uh, meeting. Yeah, but then, you know, the 20 people that will show up, and we have 3,000, and then we send this thing out, you're going to have... Yeah, I mean, I, I mean... And, and, I, and I don't press disagree. Here and I, you let the press I, get in on it. I don't, I don't disagree with, 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 with the question, and I think the survey is prudent, but I just don't know what the question... How do you how do you put the question in a way that it gives us good information as to how do we move forward? You know, I mean, how do you say is our police is our you know I, maybe and again and I don't want to debate this. We can come up with this later. But is our police force too big? Do we do we need a police force? And do you think the size of the police force is adequate? I, and again, I'm just. So you're right. talking more than one simple question. You're talking about four or five questions that might be in this survey. Well, I, th I think if we want to get good information, or at least information that we want to use, I think we've got to kind of, you know, do do we think that we have a? I don't know, and I'm, I don't know. I don't know the answer to it. Um, yeah, because if you ask four or five questions, well, but on the other hand, Peter, if somebody's going to take the time to answer two questions, will they answer five? Sure. Are sure. they going to answer 30? Probably not. No. no. But they, but they probably answer five. If you limit it to four or five. And could, could we get the information if we, if we got down to five? I mean, I think somebody, if somebody's going to answer, wouldn't you guys agree, if somebody's going to take the time to, serve, to, to, to answer a question with air, they're going to answer three or four. As long as you've got some fairly tight questions like that, I think they'd feel better about answering several questions rather right. than just one. Just one. Right. That, that okay, so question number one should be, are you satisfied with the Hortonville Police Department services? That's a good question. All right. Who's writing? I'm not. Neither am I. There it is. Number two. Do you feel that 24-7 coverage... Do you feel we need 24/7 coverage? But 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 what what is the, if if you're not giving them a you know 24/7 coverage compared to none? Well, they're going to say 24/7. Or do you, do you? I know what you're asking, Peter. I'm just wondering. What you, about asking a question that says how many daily hours of coverage would you like to see? And you've got little dots after it: 24, 16, whatever. 24, 18, whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever numbers you choose. Yeah. Well, or you could. About this, do you do you feel the police department is adequately staffed, or is overstaffed, or is understaffed? But most people don't realize that. Well, what are we saying? We're well, saying but, but they don't. I, know, I, I say they don't know how many people we've got. That's different from coverage. Uh, hours of how, coverage. Many, how many hours of coverage would you like to see? Yeah, but I'm but I'm I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm I'm going to say 18 hours of coverage, and now I'm getting robbed when they're not on. Then we got the phone. Good God! Well, the section officers. I'm about that 24. The section officers tell me we're never without coverage. How about we? Never. Do you feel we need coverage between the hours of uh, 2 a.m. and 6 a.m.? We're never without coverage. But I didn't know that. Are, is everyone going to know that? Then we should tell them. There is section coverage, 24 hours what a does, day what from does, the county. You know, when I, um, uh, in previous jobs, I did done worked with a, a professional survey data center out of River Falls, and they helped um, put together some surveys. And one of the things that we did in every one of the surveys that I've done with them is that there was a cover letter attached to it that said, this is what the current situation is. Um, you know, for example, they had asked questions about if, if they felt that there should be more or less budget um, allocated to a certain program. We first told them this is, you know, it was an informational thing saying this is what the picture is right now. Based on that, here's the question. So if we do the survey, I highly recommend that we have a cover letter that, you know, like for example, um, the, the, the graphs that I know Brian had put together of showing when calls come in so that they, they have some information on it. Um, some of the costs, different things like that. So I, I would suggest to have that in a cover letter 
so that they have that background information and then answer the question. See, that's that's a really good idea because it, asking the questions without having all the information in front of you is really going to be hard. You know, like I said, that's why I I didn't know that we always have what's it called section 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 yes twenty four hours I've a day. Been here for I mean, I mean I've been living here for twenty plus years and I you never before. left. Trust me, if you dial nine one one, you you would get they come help. How many officers are in the section? One. Um, I had that information. What did I? Is it one? It, it's one. One? Mm -hmm. I think there's, is it four or five on a day? And then, yeah. Yeah, with a roller. And then they work so many hours. <clears throat> okay. So, I mean, if, if, if we could do, and maybe we do that with a cover letter and then come up with the questions. Um, After? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. I think we're, we might be putting the cart before the horse yeah. with the question so, before we actually have the cover letter. Okay, so if you drafted a cover letter and we had another meeting next week, no? No, that's not. <laughs> I, and I, we could approve the I, cover I can, letter? I can put some, um, it, by then I can certainly get some draft, and some of the things mm -hmm. that I'm thinking of for content is, like, I, I'm sure we could put together a graph of showing just on average when our calls come in, so like a graph with the uh, 20, you know, the, the, the bell curve the, or whatever. Thank you. Um, you know, I'm just thinking of some of that stuff is when the calls come in. That but make, we have, it, make it simple enough. Yeah. And, and I don't make it too wordy, otherwise, they lots of times yeah, if you don't want to read them, they'll throw them away. Yeah, in a section, twenty-four hour day. Um, so if we come up with a, a you know some at least the content of the questions that we want to ask tonight. No, he's saying do the cover letter first. We review it, we approve it, then we come up with a question. See, I think the, the, I think the letter will based help on us. The cover letter, it'll help us. Come up with oh well, well we, okay. we could right. we could split all the questions. See, right I was now. kind of thinking that the questions and, and not the oh. specific wording would help me figure out what to include okay. in the letter. Okay, so we're kind of a catch to, to pare it down so that. Um, and, and if you wanted just general. Well, okay, so the questions. I think we were getting on the right. You know, what was the first question, Peter? What did we have? Are, happy with, sir? Are you satisfied with the Hortonville PD services? Second one was sort of hashed out as how many hours of Hortonville PD coverage would you like to see and then offer some choices? Yep. So that would be kind of sort of the question, Lynn, you know, is, is, is coverage, do we need more coverage, do we need less coverage? So if we broke this down in four... Well, Just broad categories. If you yeah, give me that, then I can write the letter. Like 6 a.m. until... No, no, I don't no, even no. mean that. I no. mean just the broad categories yeah, that, of what so, kind of stuff so, you're asking so then I can write the cover letter. Right. You don't have to get to that detail uh, to for the cover letter. And the letter. cover letter should include that right. there are section officers. And I wrote that down too. Right. And right. out of right. Amy County section right. coverage. So, Correct. So, then the question so that people would be, realize that. So then the question would, well then I would, then I would kind of mm -hmm. go back to, and maybe re recant what I was saying before, instead of four or five questions, if we give them a cover letter, that explains everything. Are those two questions all we need? Because really, that's all we're talking about, right? We're talking about. But you didn't want to delve into the issue about uh, coverage or uh, contracting outside services. You didn't want to do that. Well, so I, I, because I think it's to me, it's if you're going to you're going to put down a question that says should we contract outside services and pay more money. What what I don't know of citizen I, unless they just don't know what to do with their money. I don't know many people that would say yeah. Let's well, do that's that. why you said that before. Yeah. But even I then, agree. my my concern is that even if, if we got people saying yes, um, I, I kind of equate that with you know us talking about when we why wanted to buy the that? hunt property and we don't have the money. Right. Is, we don't we can't come up with sixty eight thousand even if we raise the taxes because we're limited by the tax levy why limits. We do that? So don't. Bring that up. I don't think so. Just, and, and we agreed on that before, so let's just get down to the simple basic right. questions right. of services and coverage. And I think, like, and where I'm going, unless somebody else has another question, I think to me those are the two that we want. I mean, I'm wide open for another question if somebody can come up with one, but what other information do we want other than are they satisfied with the services and do you think we need? 
less coverage? Well, based on what we talked about before, this magic number of 3,000, should a question be, do we need a chief? And, and I'll look at that, and I'll, I'll see what I can find out about okay, that. Okay, but the, the point I'm going to make now is, census-wise, 2711 is the number. If we're below that 3,000, that's not a moot question. So the point is, do oh, we I, need, you agree with that? Absolutely. Okay. That's why I, I um, no matter where our population is or where it will be, I mean, that's still a very yeah, important question. Yeah, because we're looking at possibly three years before that might change. So... Uh, that has been a big question. Do we need a chief? Yeah, no, no, I think that's fine. Yeah, the only reason I, I, I kind of I kind of hesitate on that is if there, if there is no chief, are they just running around? You know, no, no, there's mm -hmm. a senior officer, but, sergeant in charge. That, but then that's that would be in the cover letter. That would be in the cover letter. Right. That would need to be in the cover letter. Right. Okay. That's good. I have a, that's that's I'm that's so we've got three questions. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's all. Anything else? Jack, do you have any other ideas? No. Al? No. All right, so do we vote on whether or not we send this survey letter out, or, is, or we, is there, does this need to go to a vote? If we're going to be spending them, this is spending budget money and everything, so there will have to be a decision to do it when the time comes. I don't know if you want to do that tonight or if you want to do that next week or what. Well, does it have to be a board decision, or can that be a committee decision? Committees don't normally spend the budget. The village board does. Okay, so... <clears throat> Can we meet again next week to go over the cover letter that Diane is doing? And then uh, make a decision that it, this survey should be mailed out as soon as possible. I don't want to prolong this. I want to get this thing going. Oh, absolutely, Peter. And my only, my only comment to that would be is if Diane could get that cover letter to us before a meeting. Before which oh. meeting? Whatever meeting you're talking about. Well, I'm talking meeting about having... Meeting. No. We're He's not meeting for another. I think yeah. talking another safety. We won't meeting. be yeah, meeting until the sixth. Well, for, I mean, we were just talking about the board meeting, not until the that's sixth. That's two weeks away. Yeah. You're talking about no safety meeting. Yeah, I'm talking about a quick safety meeting yeah. to approve the cover letter and give give the go ahead to mail out the survey. We yeah. can't mail the survey because we don't have a village board decision to spend the budget. All right. So at least we can approve the cover letter and the questions and present everything to village board so that we can be ready to move. Right. Which is uh, what date? In July July sixth. Six the board the meeting. meeting. I, I know that I'm breaking some rule. Law. <laughs> but considering the fact that we have five of the seven board members sitting here, and if we, as a committee, said we approve it and we approve the cost moving forward, even if two of the sitting members, nothing away from you, Julie, were to oppose it and we were 5-0. If that holds for the village board meeting, you'd be good. If that doesn't hold for the village board meeting, you would not be good. Yeah, you'd be... And that's where I'm saying we're, you know, is jail time involved with any of yeah. well, we the... Well, would, wouldn't it be a violation of open meetings because it has to be an agenda item for a... It, it really should be in a specific agenda. Well, they're going, they can, yeah, this one, there is no survey on this listing tonight. There's just future of the PD. Understood. I'm just, again, I'm just trying to. So um, if you want to do something for next week's meeting and put the survey on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. then let's just, but but there really again, if you have a change in somebody's feelings here before they get to the village board vote and you no longer have your majority, gotcha. then you're done. I understand. And I'm. Let, let, let's go through the survey next week. But I would, I would again, I would, I would, I would ask if you could send it out prior to the meeting so that we have something to look at, so that we can send what out. The the, the cover letter out. to the board members from me to you guys. That way we can make meeting. whatever changes we want. Make it a, a a nice, clean, quick meeting that says, okay, here's what we're right. doing, here's where we're going. I agree. I I will, but I I would ask if we could have it a little later in the week because tomorrow I have to head to Madison and. Um, and what, there's some information. What's later in the week? You know, like <clears throat> Wednesday? What day is today? Oh, today today's is Wednesday. Tuesday. No. Oh, today's Tuesday. No, today's today's Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, no, I'm heading on Thursday. Crap. Gosh, yeah. I'm losing track of the days. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Macro. Could Wednesday, that gives me a little bit more time because this, this rather than just being a cover letter, I also have to do some digging and research. Sure. So this will take me a little more time. So if we could on Wednesday um, to give me a little bit more time since I've got a... 
And again, I caution you not to make it too elongated and yep. too make yeah, it concise. Yeah, we need to make it. People don't really need yeah, to And I know it's going to be really difficult, but if you can keep so it. So is it open we can meet here? Um, Tuesday and Wednesday are open. Thursday there is a library program in here until 6, so you wouldn't be able to meet until at least 6.30. How about next Wednesday at 6? I can do that. Who's open? Everybody open? That works. Okay. 6 p.m. here. Next Wednesday, what's the date? Today's the 20th, 28th. so that would be the 28th. 28th. I sure hope I don't have anything. You okay with Wednesday? I, I don't, I, I think so. I'm pretty Where's sure. Where's your calendar? In my office. You want time to go look? Sure. Thank you. Also, Thursday doesn't work for me, so I hope. Um, six kind of pushes me. Six thirty. I can make six work if everybody. I mean, I just as soon get it done sooner than later. What Maybe about six fifteen or something? Just time. Time. It's just you know, getting home. It's shoveling down some food and then coming here. And you go home and eat before you come here. Later. In? Well, because I don't really like to eat. I didn't know how long this was going to last. You want to? You want to make it six <clears> thirty? If we could, that would yeah. be. A that would be All right, is everybody else okay with it? That works for me. Sure. Al? Yeah. What, you don't like inhaling your food? <laughs> You're dying later. I <clears throat> just put them up all night. <laughs> you know, that's really bad. I mean, honestly, yeah, that's, uh, what happens is when you eat late, your your stomach is digesting all that food for hours on end, and then you don't fall asleep. Yes. You also end up with acid reflux disease. And UEFs, and I already have. So do I. Not to be published. Fairly uh, common. What? It says fairly common. Is it really? Yes. Okay. Well, Meprazole does well. Works for me. Okay. Well, 6.30 now. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm 6.30, having... are you okay? Yes, that's All fine. All right, 6.30 the 28th, which is a Wednesday. Okay, we're good with that. Now let's get to item number two, SRO contract. This really depends on, I, I think <clears throat> after talking to uh, Mr. Barr, I think we need to move forward and Al was in on a conversation too. Uh, I think we need to move forward and make sure that we can secure that regardless of what happens. Even if it came back that the General consensus was we do something, we go to county services, county would pick that contract up. But they would pick the contract up for a different amount of money. Well, no, nope. he said he would honor the contract. Oh, good. Yeah. So, I asked him. So, if regardless of what happens in the outcome of our first discussion, uh, it has no bearing on that SO contract. I say that my opinion is that we should <clears throat> move forward to secure it, sign it. Mm -hmm. Al agreed, and uh, we'll go from there. At least we have it. It's income. Yep. And again, if something happens, the county will pick it up for the same. Okay. Did I, they not uh, meet tonight? I, I, I spoke 26. to the... 26th. No, the, no, the, the, the committee, committee meets tonight. tonight. That's yes. right, the next I, I, I spoke to Todd Tim, the new superintendent of the schools, and um, he asked me some very specific questions on, on this, which I couldn't answer. And so... Um, Until well, now. Well, no, but I, I still I agree with you. Um, it's just that I don't know that they're I, I don't necessarily know that they're going to offer that. Well, if they don't, they don't. Well, that uh, then I mean, you know, they, it's either they offer it and we take it, or Peter, what? That we would lose an officer and a half. Back. Yes, right. that would mean that a so we would still be okay because we wouldn't be paying wise, out right. that extra officer and a half to right. cover while Brian and Ashley are in the school. Right. So. I mean, if, there would if be we lost, Steve, if we did not get the SRO contract for the 2017-2018 school district, we will lose two employees. Okay, but we just went through this. We all, I think, we're all in agreement that we want that. Contract. It happens. It, I, what? It, that happens. No, I mean, no. If we I have to lose someone, we do. No, I understand, but I'm saying the school may not offer it to us. They, they have. I the understand that. Okay. Right. But I what? understand that. Okay. You said that once. I'm sorry, I totally I'm understand this. So what, what do you think the outcome of that should be? What, what's a resolution? If they're going into a meeting tonight and they say we're not going to offer it, what happens? We, we lose, lose a, a person and a half. Yes. 
What are we going to do? What are you going to do? I, I'm, I'm not saying we do anything on that. I'm saying, I guess I'm, I, I kind of got the impression from this discussion that we're not asking about contracting services in this survey. We're asking about the level of service and the quality of service. With, in regards to? Uh, on this, on the, back to the survey. So I guess I, my point is, I think if, if the school well, was assured time, that we would not be contracting services out, they would sign with us. That is my opinion. By the time a survey goes out, we're going to know whether the school is offering us to us or the county. Because right. they're, they're going to have a right. board meeting next week. To right, I, I understand that. What I'm saying is that... So I don't pay to put it on the survey. I, I, what I'm saying is that if the school district was assured that we are not contracting out services, I think they would sign with the village. But we didn't do that. We're sending a survey okay. out. There's no assurance tonight. I, I guess I will. We just I, went well, through that. So my point is, let them make their decision. Okay. There's been enough unrest that if, you know, maybe amongst themselves prior to the committee meeting, uh, maybe they've made their decision. I don't know. It's, there's nothing we can do tonight, I think, that would make them feel comfortable with giving us the contract. I think, and Al, we talked about it, you agreed that you would go back to them and, and tell them that we would like to secure that contract, right? You agreed to that. Okay. So let Al go back and tell them that we would like to sign that contract with the idea that if for whatever reason something happens with the Hortonville Police Department, the county will pick that contract up mm -hmm. at the same dollar value. That's what we've been assured. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what be So like. what else do you want us to do? I'm, I'm not suggesting, I'm just making sure I'm clear on it because... I, I realize we will lose a person and a half, but, you know, maybe that decision's been made already. I don't know. And there's really nothing we can do about it. I hope it hasn't. Well, there is. We could, we could, as, a, we could as a committee, say we're not going to go to an outside service. And spend sixty eight thousand dollars for the county. Then what's the purpose of the survey? Well, I, and I guess that's where I was getting confused because I thought we decided the survey was talk about the quality of services and the um, twenty four seven stuff right. to possibly because we were, the sixty eight thousand we can't afford. Right. So. I, thought the, I thought the survey was going to be how are if, are if we are going to be reorganizing our and if we need our chief and. It has nothing that we, I thought we, we said that we weren't going to have anything in there about going to an outside service. <clears throat> and that's that's what my, that's why I was asking the questions, because that's where I, I think, Kelly, you and I are on the same page yeah. on that. That's what we thought. And I, and I, and, and I think what, she, what, what Diane is saying is if, maybe it doesn't make any difference, Peter, you might absolutely be right, but I think what Diane is saying is I don't know. The, if, if they know that we're not going in a direction to at least pursue outside services, they'll probably sign with us. Correct. That's what I was, regardless of the restructuring or any of right. that stuff for 24-7, if it's HVPD, I believe that they would sign with us. So that's what I'm, I, I mean, I, and I'm saying that I don't know why we would go to an outside service and spend money. So are we going, so the question is, as a committee, are we prepared to say that we are going to, at this moment, stay with our police department and look at the reorganization of our police department? And I guess I thought we were there. That that's kind of where we were at, that we were going to try to get the survey to tell us what our services need to be and that we were not going to look down the path of Subcontracting without a gaming or another or another. Uh, so, what's your recommendation? Well, I would suggest tonight, and I'll make a motion that we. I don't know how to, that, that motion should be even said, but that we that we at least tell the school district that it is our intent at this moment to stay with our PD and to look at reorganization, and that we are not going to be looking at outside services. So you're making that a motion? I will make that motion. What uh, what what happens? Okay, say everything stays the same. All right, everybody stays in place, everybody's where they're at. Who is going to be the liaison officer once school starts back up at, at, in Martinville? 
Yeah, that's one that I, I think until after we get this and decide whether or not there's a reorg or not, I, I don't think we can really answer that. Is that an issue, Jack? Well, I think it is. If, if your lieutenant or sergeant in charge, officer in charge is at the school, well, I don't think you can. That, that they wouldn't be. I, I think there'd be an interim, that's probably. probably. That's there, would, there would, if it's, say it's Brian, because he's the one over there, full time, the full-time officer over there, becomes the officer in charge, Beyond the going on... You know, we leave it without a chief, and Brian's in charge from now until whenever. He would then have to have somebody else go up there because he's already said, because of the time that's frame my question. he's had, mm -hmm. he cannot do both jobs. Well, that's my question. Yeah. That that he, exactly somebody question. else would have to take over for him. You know, he's and the already school's said all that right with that because I thought at one point they said they only wanted Brian. I got the impression. I, I, again, this is my interpretation because we, we have to be careful as we were talking. Is that I got the impression that yes. I mean, because we yeah, would have okay to. With that. I mean, oh. if, at, at this point, we couldn't tell them that Brian was going to be the person. No, we can't. I, I don't see how we could That's because not, we, you can't do that. No. I mean, we're not in a position to say that. I think. And, I think at that. And I think they're okay with yeah, that because exactly. if they go with the county, they don't. They probably wouldn't have Brian either because the county would have somebody else. But I think it's a good. I right. think it's a good point to at least. If you know to, to and maybe that motion, I don't know if it makes a difference or not. But I think, what, regardless of what we tell the, regardless of the motion and regardless of moving forward here, I think we have to tell them that it, that there is nothing that we can tell them that it's going to be Brian. In fact, I, the I possibility agree. exists that it probably won't be Brian. And if that's Possibly, gonna, and that's going to that may, you know, I mean, if they would come back and say. I mean, I guess if, if Diane's really comfortable that they're going to stay with us, do we tell them anything? And that's I, maybe a good question too. Do we even do we even volunteer that? I, I mean, right. I if, mean, we, if we if we look yeah. at good point. other services and dissolving the HVPD, I do not have that confidence. No. Okay. But. We you don't can. have to tell them who their officers no, are. No, going to no, be. no. Not I wouldn't do I that. Agree, I agree no. with Jack and. I agree with Jack. Don't offer it. If they ask, I, I, agree I, I agree entirely. I agree. I don't believe our contracts up until now have named the officers. No, it's it's based on um, the contract proposals are based on the salaries of you know the hourly right. wages and and you know all of that stuff of the actual <clears throat> officers that are in those positions, but that's not specified on there. It's just that those are the numbers that are used. But Brian is so, the highest paid guy. Yeah, yes. So so we'd be in, we couldn't. It, that would not that would not hamper us. That would not cause us budgetary problems. No. Okay, so you have a motion on the table. You want to re read it back? To tell Hortonville Area School District that it is our intent to stay with our PD and not look at outside services. That's your motion. Yes. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Carried. Now, Al, you will go, you will call Mr. Tim and inform him. Yes. So we can secure that SRO contract. Do you agree? Yep. Okay. I guess that's it, unless anybody else has anything else. So she's drafting up a cover letter. Correct. That so cover letter we will her. review. We talked about it. Make it simple enough. And we will review that on the 28th, and then yes. we'll discuss how we're going to send it out and how we're going to get responses. Yeah. Do you agree? I do. Okay. Does everybody agree? We're yeah. cutting into my recreation time. So I know. We, we, we all cut agree. into mine already. Before. <laughs> okay. Well, your motion to adjourn. I will make that motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Right. Thank you. Thanks. You were seconding it, or you were asking?